Should I bust her? Or should I think I should just sneak out, honestly. Can I just leave? I would just sneak out. Surprise, I'm in your house. Thanks for not inviting me. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. How does she not care? Oh, you can't have me pick between these two things. I eat all of them at the same time. Two sides or a meal. Fine. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would erase each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. No. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. <sighs> eggs and milk? No problem. Cereal it is. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. You love that they still have the same refrigerator. Is the milk seriously? Okay, why is the milk out here? Now for the mother's milk. Where are the, the eggs have to be? It's a bottle of beer. Oh my God! Is the dad home? Oh, jeez! Can you help me get this bird out of here? What bird? Oh, there are the eggs. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Um, there's the ingredients. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, the bird's it's still great to house. see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce. But we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Hmm. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? <laughs> God, I hope so. She was, is smart. And she always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? No way, dude. Maybe. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um. Did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Oh, I'm gonna get busted. No. We should have left. I should have left. I'm done. <sighs> We're gonna get busted. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. No, I'm leaving. Or eat and leave. Am I done? Oh, I didn't add peanut butter to my pancakes. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Man. Oh, man. I don't want to be famous for this. Apocalypse soon. No, I need to go. I need to get out of here. I guess nobody waters the plant here. <laughs> the plant is dead. Can I get up now? I need to get up. Seeing you leave. again? Ah, oh, made me remember so much. No. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. 
My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. <laughs> wow, sir. I wish I could look at Gimp Part 2. I too. totally remember that day. Wow, sir. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and... And... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive. Which one am I? She's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Heed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. Uh. I do need to get into David's computer. He's got to be hiding shit. Where's the warden? No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Hmm. Maybe it's 911. There used to be a thing up there. Nothing to see here. Hmm. Oh. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Is, I'm so happy you were born today. Thanks for bringing me into the family. Oh. Nope. Nope. I thought it'd be nice. No, bad. I thought it'd be. I thought it'd be nice, sweet man. Nothing in it. Hmm. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. 7171. That might be a good combination. There's no way Chloe could put that gun back now. Hmm. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. That sounds like, like a good answer. I could try the license number for the password. No, I think it's military ID. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Coming back home, a veteran guide. Oh. I feel like he's trying. It's kind of sad. Army. Magic 8-Ball says no. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. We ain't freezing no laptop. Use personal. Uh. Such wrong. No. Oh. Can I rewind? 
farther. Before I put in the other password. Before I put in the other password. There. Okay. We know it's not someone one. Oh, shit balls. Family. It's not that either. It's not that either. We need to do some more undercover work. Oh, I didn't actually think we can go in here. Obviously David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Just got married. That's cute. Could be a password here. To a real hero. Six or seven, sorry. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. To my field angel, keep your wings up. It's in the sun visor. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Hmm. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Does he probably have a camera in here, in this room? Warning, I don't dial 911. Oh. Army? Survey, keep your wings up. <sighs> yeah, Try again. Like a good one either. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. I'm gonna go wreck. All the way. All the way back. To the dawn of the dinosaurs. Keep going. And almost there. I don't really think it's worst small. hacker ever. Yeah, and make any sense. Personal. I need that family. Stepdad. What are these dates? This is his wedding day. Score! Max the hacker strikes again. Oh, Whoa. His wedding day's fast. Spoiler right? alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. Why does David care? Rachel avoids her dormitory following Rachel to the lighthouse. Rachel has been cutting class all week, Frank. Rachel meet once again. It was seen at 2.30 p.m. When was this? Does it even say date? This could be recent. Date. Date of crime. Wow. Not even a date. Instead day. of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. KM follows the same path to every class. Overheard Kate and Dana talking about supplies for the Vortex Party drugs. Watching Kate with her church group, she knows her Bible. Kate stays in the bathroom longer than other students. Drugs? Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with, with goatees. Kate has kept her kept herself since Vortex Club Party. Not even church. Drugs? <laughs> Try to talk to Kate about the party. She just got upset and ran. Guilty. Drugs? This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Max online alias. Max. Mad Max. Max Factor. <laughs> Nor Angel. Maxine Caulfield. My school schedule. This is why I don't want to see him. I better tell Chloe about this now. Ugh, it's just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. I need to lock this computer. Whoa, 
gross. Instead of this is so wrong. Okay, we are right all that. Oh, Yo, I need to close this bastard. computer. We're getting in trouble. He's already. He's gonna be out here. Oh, okay. He wasn't there. Taylor, text me. Hey, Max. Just wanted to thank you for actually giving a shit about me and my mom. We all saw how much you cared about Kate when nobody else did. Thanks, Taylor. I know you care too. If you're going to the party, I'd love to sell you up if you want. If I do go, I'd love to get to get a Taylor makeover talk soon. Ah! Nice breakfast. David, you you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Uh. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know yes. more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras, so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just His always starting shit, right? My frames drop. You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Ah, uh, this no. These choices are awful. Kiss Chloe. Now side with David and with Chloe. I don't see any benefits for siding with David besides making Chloe upset and apologizing later and hearing about it over and over. Uh, side of Chloe, just get David pissed at me. He doesn't tell me anything about Rachel. But Chloe's my friend. I know David's a sweet guy, but he's an asshole right now. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry, David. You're a bully, David. Ah. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. Ah. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying <laughs> on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? Why what? are we telling him? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course, women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David, paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day, Chloe. For once, just please shut up. This is awful. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Uh, this is awkward. I knew we should have left early. I love I talk to David. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. I kind of want to see what happens. If I, I just want to see what the outcome is. If I go all the way back and take David's side, because I didn't see a point to it. What? Is he not home yet? Okay. Maybe I should just leave. Oh. Can I skip this? Skip. No. Skip. 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 Skip.
Quest side. I want to see what happens if I pick David's side. Listen! We don't know that David did anything, and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting, or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates, or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. Enough! I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? He didn't even appreciate me. Maybe I went too easy on David for Joyce's sake. Thanks again for defending me, Max. But this is my family now. Oh. You know what? That wasn't even... That wasn't nice enough, right? I had more satisfaction from your sorrow and pain. So if you excuse me, I'm gonna make you cry. Sorry, Joyce. Oh, I should know that Chloe can't get through an hour. Out creating drama. Drama is her middle name. It almost looks like they're about to kiss every time. Anyway, we know what the problem is. And the satisfaction is seeing him cry. We gotta side with Chloe. Because she's our friend. Get out of here, David. Getting kicked out. Let's go home. Or not home. To school. Take Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. I already did. So let's go. Everybody wanna